This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel today. And folks, well, you know what? It is one player remaining. I guess Tyler Benson as well, but one NHL roster impact player remaining for the Edmonton Oilers on the offseason. And that is Ryan McLeod following signing Mr. Woo, Kyler Yamamoto today and getting that job done. Now, I just want to touch very quickly on how exciting it is to see Ken Holland go out there and absolutely demolish the offseason he had long promised us and finally, fruitfully, he delivers and gets the job done delivering a fantastic offseason to this point. There's two contracts still needed to be signed. There's a player that still needs to be moved out, but my goodness, if you don't have faith and the general manager running the Edmonton Oilers at this point, I don't know what to tell you because it even looks, according, if you watched Bob Stoffer's tweets on the day yes, the Pugliarvi was signed, that Pugliarvi more than likely ain't going anywhere. And there's plenty of ways you can manipulate the cap if you want to move out Fogel, if you want to move out Barry, and you can say what you want about Barry and the Oilers power play not being the same. I will tell you, I will take the Boosh bomb on the power play over Barry's soft chest shots all day, let me tell you that much. Or the wide bounces that go off the end boards, get past them at the point and lead to a break the other way. But folks, it is fantastic to see as an Oilers fan exactly how this offseason has played out. You got the goaltender you needed. You kept the defenseman you needed to. You kept the forwards you needed to. And you got, yeah, you know what? You needed to keep Evander Kane, but you also got him on an unreal team-friendly deal for the next four years. I love all the goofs that are like, oh, but watch when the locker room falls apart because of Kane. If it was going to, it would have already by now, wouldn't it have? But you know what? That's just what winning hockey does. It prevents problems. And that's what the Edmonton Oilers are looking to do this upcoming regular season. Folks, Kyler Yamamoto, absolutely fantastic to see him locked up by the Edmonton Oilers for the time being. A great contract that keeps us in motion as we continue to try and see the cap rise and hopefully win ourselves some hockey games. Yamamoto signed that two-year $3.1 million deal, which is just only 100 k more than Pugliarvi. But for Yamamoto, he's been here, a good soldier, battling through and getting results all the way through, right? Yamamoto rose up the back half. Pugliarvi fell off the back half. And Oilers fans and Oilers management more likely to remember, what did you do for me today, not yesterday? So, folks... That's the breakdown on the Yamamoto contract and my feelings right now. It is absolutely an exciting time to be an Oilers fan. And now we get two more big pieces of news. And then it's all of a sudden the Penticton Young Stars Classic. And away we go. Folks, I'm Tyson. This is Dolan TV. I am up on out of here.